In this video, I'll walk you through how to work with a Quarto file or create a Quarto document. So um, here we are in R. You're familiar with this environment. We're going to go to the top left corner uh, and look at the drop down menu and click on where it says Quarto document. OK, so it says create a new Quarto document. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then it gives us um, these options here. So we're going to fill up, let's say, here's the title of our document. Maybe we want to call it homework one, right? So let's call this homework one. And you can put your name in the author field. And uh, let's just click on PDF here, OK? And let's leave everything as it is. And it's going to create a document for us, as you can see here. Um, obviously, you can't see the um, output here, but um, we are going to hit render, which is going to ask us where we want to place this document. Okay, And notice that the extension of the file is QMD, which stands for a Quarto Markdown file. It is just a plain text file that allows us to interleave the code and the output as well as the text that we want to write. So it's a really nice environment and interface uh, where a notebook is created. So we're going to go ahead and call this homework underscore one. OK, so let's put this on our desktop. And now you'll notice that something's going on here. And on the right hand side, you're going to see that a document got created, right? A very neat looking document which says homework one. And then it will probably have your name if you put your name in there. And then it has all these other things. OK, what we're going to do for now is go ahead and delete this. OK. And by the way, if this doesn't pop up on the right hand side, um, you can click on this widget right here next to render and choose chunk output in line and previewer preview in viewer pane if that's um, an option and make sure that these three options are checked. Okay, so um, that way you're going to be able to see this. Okay, now we've deleted everything from here. And notice that when I click here, it's saying head heading to. And this corresponds to what is being selected here on top, which is normal header one, header two, header three. So we can always choose as to what we want here. So let's say this is your homework and you want to give it um, a title. OK, so we've given it a title here, question one, and we hit enter. Now we're going to go back to normal mode. As you can see, when I hit enter, it's not in that line and it is in the next line. So it's um, giving me that this is normal, but you can change this at any point in time. So let's say I want to write some text and I want to say this is question one. OK, let's go ahead and knit this or render this, hit render and see what happens on the right hand side. Notice that everything else that we deleted went away and now we have like a little heading and then there is some text beneath it, okay? Um, you can then um, hit enter and now insert your R code that you want. So for example, I wanna insert some R code I am going to hit forward slash on my keyboard and it's going to give me some options here. OK, it gives me lots of options. You can kind of look into that. But the first option is the most relevant for us. So we're going to go ahead and click on our code chunk. Now we have an R code chunk and we can make comments like this is a comment and then we can write down something. So let's say three plus four. If we want to execute it, we can go ahead and hit the uh, run or the play button on the top corner here. If we run that, it will give me the value of seven right here. So this code is getting executed right away. 
but maybe you want the whole document to do that, right? So let's say, again, we click render on our screen and then this document on the right should update, okay? So now notice that I placed a comment uh, in the R chunk that I created, okay? So we can get rid of this by clicking clear output here. So notice this is an R chunk that I had put in, which is shaded in this gray box. So anytime you're writing a comment or writing R code, this has to be written in the gray box. But as long as you click outside of the box and you write, this is just text, right? And you hit render, this is going to be executed. Um, everything in this file is going to be executed. And notice that you're not only just seeing the R code, but you're also seeing the output. At the same time, this is a little notebook where you can write comments, um, not the comment for R code, but just kind of your commentary on whatever you are doing. Okay, so this is a really neat uh, document, sort of similar to R Markdown if you've seen my uh, videos earlier, but uh, Quarto is gen ge definitely the tool of the future, so this is going to be very useful. Now, um, notice that um, on the top left here, we have, we are in the visual editor, okay? Uh, but we can go to the source editor to see what this looks like, okay? So you can see that this is sort of uh, similar to what R Markdown does, where you have this chunk that is your R code or your R chunk, okay, which contains the R code that you're writing, okay? And it's again displayed in gray. You can go back to the visual editor because that looks much nicer, okay? But you can control a lot of things from the source editor as well. So it's good to know that um, if something doesn't work correctly, you can always fix it, okay? Which you might not be able to see very easily in the visual editor. Okay, so you can toggle between the source and the visual editor and you want to make sure that you're writing everything in in these chunks. So let's say we wanted to uh, make sure that some package that was already installed is loaded. So maybe we want to load the ggplot2 package because we need it to load some of our data. We can go ahead and do that um, and we can hit the render button here and notice that again it's showing me that I executed um, this command okay now as you try to do more questions um, you can always insert more things here so let's say I wanted to insert another heading I could go here and click on header 2 or I could just yeah, or I could just, um, instead of typing that, I could just uh, use a double hashtag and then write the heading. Uh, because in the source, you will see that as soon as I hit um, header two, a double um, hashtag will pop up. So if I write something in the source editor here, which says, this is question, let's say question two, right? If, we, if I go back to the visual editor, I should be able to see this as a heading, okay? So if I hit enter, uh, it's going back to the normal mode here, and I can say this is question two, okay? And then if I hit render, then on the right-hand side, this should populate, okay? So this is one way of just um, working with Quarto. I can make another video uh, which goes into more details about this, but you want to make sure that you have installed the packages that you need, you have uh, loaded any packages that you need before you're working with any kind of data sets that are drawn from certain packages, and that you can easily toggle between the source and the visual editors to make any changes to your notebook or to your Quarto document, okay? And um, remember that you can always um, hit this play button uh, to run this particular chunk. And there is, you know, um, maybe this is, a f this is for use later on, uh, but if you hit this button next to the 
uh, play or the run button here, this will ensure that all the chunks above it are being run. So let's say, you know, you are in question number two, you're answering this and you are saying, let's insert another chunk here. So I'm going to hit forward slash and I have an R code chunk and I'm going to say this is another comment. Okay. And maybe this is for question number two, you need to do something. And uh, um, let's say I wanted to run everything above it, right? I can hit this and notice that everything above it got executed, okay? So not this code, but everything above it got executed. But anyway, if you render this file, ultimately you're going to see on the right-hand side that everything gets populated very nicely and that you are able to view this and you're able to download this file if you want, okay? So I can download this file and I can save it on my desktop, okay? And uh, that's it, I think, okay? So uh, with that, I'll wrap up this and hope this helps you create quarter documents and just sort of play around with it. Okay, bye.